Omri, uh, having probably your best game of the season on Jewish Heritage Night, I know probably a night that was special to you. Just what did what did that mean on a personal level to, to put it together tonight? Uh, it was fun. Uh, you know, my family's in town always for Hanukkah, so it's always fun to have family around. And um, um, I didn't I didn't like the shofar thing at the, at the beginning of the fourth or whatever it was. It was kind of funny, but other than that, it was great. Is there a different mindset for you when you start versus when you're coming off the bench? Because you've been starting lately. Just wonder if it's anything different mentally for you. Uh, no, you know I want to play the same way. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know my role with this team is, is to do what I need to do and to kind of space out. And you know, this is something I need to figure out more how to get more open threes. Uh, you know, I'm cutting more and moving without the ball, but. Same mindset, just just play hard, you know. First, I started the game kind of off defensively, and I had to pick it up. So I felt like I picked it up better second half. Um, but other than that, it was just uh, overall a good win. Steve's always been a uh, complimentary of you cutting and your knowledge of the game. But you, I know you've always had that. But what is it like when you have, you know, an Andre Iguodala or David Wesson, guy, smart guys to play with to, uh, you know, get uh, you the ball in your spot? It makes my life so much easier, you know. Uh, just the system itself, just – the way the game is flowing, the game, the way the game is is moving, and in our offense, guys are so selfless and and just addicting, you know. And it's fun to play around with these guys, and it makes you know me, you know, all my points are so like so easy just because of them. Uh, given everything that happened last season, kind of bouncing between teams, to finally be in a rhythm with a team like this at this point in your career, just what does it what does that mean to you? Well, it means it means a lot. I mean, it's great. You know, it's, there's still a long way to go, and and obviously. The minutes I'm, I'm playing now, it's it's not what it's going to be, you know. So, like I always say, I want to I want to stay sharp. I want to stay ready whenever I'm I'm being called upon, and and you know earn the trust of my teammates and my coaches. And uh, so whenever I'm coming in the game, I want to be ready and ready to go. Omri, what have you noticed in Kevin these last few games with his leadership and mentality? I mean, the numbers are what they are, but what did, what did you notice of how he's approached those two things? Uh, Kevin's been amazing. I mean, he's always been great for our team, you know, but the past few games, he's just picked it up, you know, on so many different levels. You know, he's, he's having defensive player of the year numbers defensively. Uh, he's playing great, really helping everybody, blocking shots. Like, he's always there guarding, you know, whoever gets hot, he's, he's the one guarding him. And, um, you know, I told him we had a game in Detroit and, you know, I played four or five minutes or whatever. I made a layup, so every time you, you do something and you're a role player, like he's the, like it's, you make a layup, and it's like, Henri, great move, great move, like, and that that brings so much happiness, you know. To and I told him, I went up to him at, ha at halftime, and I said, KD, like, you talking to me like that during the game, that just brings so much more confidence, you know. And and he does that to everybody, and he was like, I know, you know, and which is good, you know. He knows that he brings ener energy and confidence to to our to the, the role players and the guys playing around them. So, such a great leader, humble man. You know, I love him. When did it get to the point where he's not holding you back anymore? <laughs> no, I think I think we got over that. <laughs> we got over that. <laughs> you entered the night, I think you'd only taken about 13 threes in about 25 games this season. Right. You took a few tonight, but why do you think, I mean, you haven't been attempting many threes this season, and what did you see tonight? I, I don't know. I mean, most of most of it, is, it's, it's my fault. You know, sometimes I have an open shot, and I kind of pass on it, you know, and, and i got to figure out. Uh, I enjoy cutting so much, you know, and, and so many times I get layups and, and it's high percentage. So sometimes when you play limited minutes, I want to get my the best shot possible for me. But at the same time, like, you know, when I'm open at the three points, I always feel like, you know, I can knock them down on a very consistent basis. So I got to figure it out. Like, you know, I got to, when I'm open, you know, take my open shots, you know, and I think it's something that I feel more and more confident now and that things are kind of more flowing towards that. When were you with Clay being so consistent and on this team that's so deep, do you think sometimes what he does kind of goes in the shadows a little bit? What Clay does? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's tough. But at the same time, Clay is unbelievable. Like, he's, he's always guarding the best, you know, guard on the other team. Uh, he killed the game in, you know, three threes that he made, you know, in a row or whatever, and, and an open jump shot at, at the free throw. So. He's unbelievable. He's really, really good. He's such a great teammate. You know, we sit together on the plane, always talk about the game and everything else. And he has so much knowledge of the game. He's so humble. So he's just a great guy to be around. And 
you know, we as a team and the coaches, obviously, and the organization appreciate him so much. So he felt, you know, comfortable with, with whatever role. So he's just amazing. Great. Thank you. Appreciate Thank that. you, guys. Thank you.